Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. All righty, that very powerful storm system has moved out of our area, but it did dump a ton of rain across our area. Here are the three day official rain totals now. Almost a foot of rain officially in the Tahlequah area, just under that in, Wil in the Wilberton area. Stigler over 10 inches, Oak Mulgee almost 10 inches. In the McAllister area, about nine inches. Now, the south sides of Tulsa did see a little bit more than the north sides. Bixby coming in just below nine inches, and officially at the Tulsa International Airport, uh, just about six and a half inches. And again, this was just within two to three days with that very powerful storm system. So these are just some incredible, incredible numbers in terms of uh, rainfall totals. We usually do not see this much at all during the winter, and it's usually some of our driest months. So hard to believe that this just fell in the past two to three days and still a lot of flooding ongoing right now. Here are the, is the current uh, flood warnings now across eastern Oklahoma. The counties in green, especially for the, the streams, the lakes and the rivers. If you live close to any bodies of water, definitely want to be on high alert over the next day or so. Uh, because you stand the chance to see some of that uh, flooding potential as uh, the things start to drain over the next few days. But again, the good news is that the rain is over as that storm system has moved out. We're still looking at cloudy skies, and it's a very, very cold night out there. Again, we have dry conditions across northeastern Oklahoma. That storm system is long gone, a very, very powerful one. Again, dumping a lot of snow right now across the upper Midwest over toward the uh, Great Lakes region as it finally lifts off to the north and east. Temperature, ni temperature wise, a uh, very cold out there, around freezing in the Tulsa area, 29 in Bartlesville, 28 in Stillwater, low 30s down to the south of Tulsa, and it's a little bit breezy out there. Northwesterly winds at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Wind chills in the 20s, mainly across the area. Our, temper our wind chills will fall down into the teens throughout most of the night, so it's going to be bitterly cold in some areas, and as you're waking up early tomorrow morning, temperatures will fall into the low 20s, so that will likely refreeze some of that slush on the side of the roads and some of those secondary roadways may be a little bit slick for that morning commute early tomorrow morning. So you probably want to take a little easy out there, maybe leave a little bit earlier, take it slow on that commute early tomorrow morning. So as we put future track into motion, we stay dry throughout tomorrow, but as we head toward late tomorrow night into early Wednesday morning, we're looking at the next chance of snow as a fast moving system moves just off to our north and west, mainly for areas from Tulsa off to the north could see possibly a dusting to maybe an inch of snow. It's all gone by early Wednesday morning, but Wednesday afternoon we're looking uh, partly cloudy with uh, some sunshine in there as well. Here's uh, the snow totals that we could see when it's all said and done by early Wednesday morning and higher amounts to the north of Tulsa. Tulsa I'm thinking around a dusting to possibly up to an inch. In our far northern areas, Bartlesville over toward Osage County, Pawnee County, Ponca City may see an inch or so. So again, basically 412 to the north could see maybe a dusting to an inch by early Wednesday morning as that system pulls out. So for tonight, temperatures mainly in the teens and 20s. Bartlesville will get down to 18 degrees tonight, 17 tonight in Ponca City. For tomorrow, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies, light northwesterly winds 5 to 10, and a pretty cold and blustery day. Temperatures in the mid to upper 30s for highs. Here's the next seven days. There's that slight chance of snow early, early Wednesday morning. And then after that, lots of sunshine moves in, especially for uh, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, start of 2016. Looks sunny but cold. And Brian, it's just uh, hard to believe all that flooding over the past couple of days. I've been floating down the Illinois River in Tahlequah since I was in high school. Mm. It's so much fun. It's just uh, so tragic to see what's going on there the past couple of days. Absolutely. It'll be nice to see that sun. Yes, right. we need it. Yeah. Thanks, John. Yep. We'll be right back with sports.